And this one, you know what it is? This, it this tree? It looks, it looks a little bit like citrus kind of trees. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like, like it smells like tea. Kind of lemon orange. Kind of lemon orange, yeah. Lemon orangey. Yeah, orange tree. Good job. Orange good pick. trees. Good pick, man. It's one of the other. Yeah. Orange trees. Orange oh, bloom. It smells so good. I never smelled the flower the fresh of an orange tree yeah. before. And, and after the rain, it smells even better. Yeah. Not this bad. Oh, wow. Can you eat the flowers too? You can make tea of the flower. Okay. You can make in food of the flower. This one's too? Yeah, on the green, if it's not greeny leaves. Yeah, these two ones. Okay, so... so and then you can take out the big, big leaves if they look bad, you know, if they are dark. This one is sick, you can take okay. it out. And uh, can you tell us why are we doing this? We are, well, we're doing two things. We are taking the little suckers out, which are like sprouts of the tree. Yes. Then... I was spotting because I did another pruning a few months ago and this is going to grow a big branch with a lot of leaves. Yes. But not going to have fruit and going to use a lot of energy for no production. Okay, so, so, so more energy will go to the so fruit. So more energy of the tree will go to potential fruits. Okay. Yeah, and it's also open space in the tree, so it has more light coming to the other leaves, but okay. it's going to be productive. And so we're taking the suckers and we're taking also all big leaves that could be sick, you know, because sometimes there are some uh, disease or what. So it's, it's nice to freeze a tree of its oldest and ugly leaves. Yeah. So you have space to grow new ones. Okay. To open, to leave space for new leaves and new shoots to give more fruits and, and the tree to be more healthy because less, uh, more air to grow through, you know, the okay. better breathing. Okay, and then you just throw it on the ground. And then we just throw it on the ground and keep building up the soil and create mulch and the yeah. hummus. Like the chop and drop. Chop and drop uh, okay. technique. See this, nice. I should take the whole thing out. And these oranges, they are really huge. They're like just uh, normal oranges we would eat? Yeah, they are normal oranges you would just eat. Yeah, they are totally 100% organic and safe. For human consumption, yeah, we grow with love. But and, uh, I still have to wait. Uh, a this one, bit. you could you could pick it since it has more than fifty percent of yellow, and then it will ripe. Okay, so you have to. But I prefer leaving them on the tree and wait the last minute, and I think it's a lot okay. better. But you need to watch before they crack. You know, this one's fine, but when there's a lot too much water, it can crack, okay. can break. So you want to pick it before it breaks. Okay. So, yeah. so in, in the theory is, if it's more than fifty percent yellow, you can pick it. You can, yeah, start and then leave it ripe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I learned a lot about these uh, orange trees. Um, is it is it difficult to to like start the tree if you plant it? Uh, no, it's easy growing. It's uh, nice weather, and uh, those trees are obviously very old, as yes. you can see, and they've been pruned many times. And uh, same as mangoes, I assume they started from graft. Yeah, okay. And then they stress the tree. Uh, or culturally, they, they, yeah, they stress the tree with knife and they make it some marks. Some of them put stones on it to make them grow stiffer. Okay, and so they... they Hard yeah, in the all tree. farmers. Yeah, all farmers are very. Some of them like pull strings and wires to to oblige to stress the tree and to make it more resistant. And do you do it too? No, no, I'm not. Well, pruning is the way of stressing the tree. Yeah, I okay. don't. I don't. You don't butcher, uh, I don't butcher, butcher it. No, <laughs> no, but yeah, pruning is consciously a stressing of the tree. Yeah, yeah. but it's natural, eh? Pruning, I think, because animals no, might. Mm, no, <laughs> maybe it's not. A, no, it's a human concept. It's only yeah. for production because the tree will always manage to give at least one foot with its seeds and close its cycle. Yeah. It's pruning, uh, I assume, it's a human concept. You can yeah. justify, justify it in, natural, in nature, but yeah, yeah. now it's for productivity. Okay. 
All right, please support Food Forest Institute. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, follow our website and check out our latest videos because we want to spread more food forests in the world. I hope you do too and um, let's go for it. <music>